are the latest on September 14th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Still the same systems that are active on the screen. Tropical Storm Kiko and now Tropical Depression 9 in the Atlantic. Kiko remaining weak, 9L uh, likely to recurve. So far we've had 57 storms, day 257 of the year. Depression 9 off the coast of the Bahamas. Unfortunately they're going to get potential tropical storm conditions again. 96L out east. Day 122 in the eastern Pacific, Kiko still a weak tropical storm. Two other areas of interest in the eastern basin there. And in the western Pacific we have three invests that remain active at this point. Will they ever form? 95, 97 and 98W still there. No systems active in the southern hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. The main feature naturally is Tropical Depression 9, currently with winds of 30 miles per hour and a pressure of 1009 millibars, same as yesterday actually. It's just off the Bahamas, 98 miles from Governor's Harbour, 25.5 north, 74.7 degrees west. The system's expected to move towards the northwest over this weekend, could clip the uh, northernmost Bahamas Islands, that would be a problem, become a tropical storm out in the western Atlantic and then recurve out towards the north and then east and become a hurricane we anticipate by the time we get to the middle of next week. Could even be a hurricane threat to Bermuda as we get towards the end of the week but that is too far out for us to see properly at this juncture. Here it is on the satellite imagery. You can also make out uh, the wind shear graphic there as well so it's over marginal wind shear very high prohibitively high to the north further south it's around five to ten knots. Somewhere in all of that you will see some kind of center of circulation as well which has been detected by recon. So here's a wide shot of the North Atlantic at this point. You can see convection flaring up a rather disturbed looking Western Atlantic over to the Gulf of Mexico region. Out towards the east there as well you can see that area of interest 96L down there towards the bottom right hand side. That could become our next tropical cyclone too. Um, and this is the Gulf of Mexico up close. Um, just some thunderstorms blowing up, none of that is tropical cyclonic in nature. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, you can quite clearly see Kiko rotating there on the uh, right hand side of your screen and generally a disturbed area down there as well, mainly in the tropical to equatorial region um, but any of those could, could become systems, especially on the eastern side of that disturbance there um, towards the Central Pacific, that is an area of interest. And the Western Pacific looks like this, you can see several systems, at least the three invests are more clearly defined today, you can quite clearly see all of them there, um, 95W on the left hand side, 97W is the one near the bottom right there, and 98W, uh, the centre of that system if it was to have one, is actually towards the Agasawara Islands at this point. Here's the Australia and South Pacific region, uh, that disturbance we were looking at near the Solomon Islands, uh, looks like it's completely gone, uh, we've just got some general thunderstorm activity over some of those Pacific Islands, and in the Indian Ocean, very quiet here as well, just a little blow up of thunderstorm activity over northwestern India, um, models still suggest that maybe later down on the road a week or two we could see a cyclone there. Sea surface temperatures look like this. Around 30 degrees Celsius off the coast of Mexico, where Kiko is, those are falling off quite a bit. The Gulf of Mexico, very warm, 30 degrees plus. Ahead of the tropical depression, it's around 28 or 29 degrees for a few days, so certainly the potential for strengthening there. In the Indian Ocean, fairly warm, 28 degrees plus generally. And in the Western Pacific, uh, very warm across the whole ocean there as well, still extending very far towards the north, 28 degrees Celsius or higher. It is prime time has been for some time over there in the western pacific whether we see any development from these systems remains to be seen and there's one of them invest 97w which is getting our floater highlight tonight uh, or today as it is local time you can just about make out the mariana islands on the left hand side of your image so the invest itself is located just east of guam um, and still well you're seeing rotation but i don't think there's a center of circulation there yet and this is the latest one minute imagery on Tropical Depression 9. It uh, doesn't quite give you the full hours of uh, coverage throughout the last few hours showing how it's been looking, but still uh, blowing up some convection mainly towards the east and towards the south there as well. The center of it is somewhere in the middle there. 
So here we are right now, the next name on the Atlantic naming list, if 9L gets a little stronger, it will be named Humberto. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Lorena. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Ima. And in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list there is Pepa. In the North Indian Ocean, list eight sees the next name on its list, Hicha, as well. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 on there as well. That's all for now, we'll have another tropical weather bulletin, assuming that we're not doing live coverage, tomorrow night, same time, same place. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.